My people, history is power, history is memory, and guess what? Today we are up on one of the favorite hills that gave the British a thorn in their flesh and name it. This is the place where La Mogi Rebellion took place. So this place became the first spot in Uganda where they threw tear gas. Today I'm in the traditional way of the Choli people. Bonjour, fils de nez, le sambo. Uh, right now we are going into one of the caves uh, that was uh, that, that was used by Chief Awich uh, as one of his hideouts uh, during the re rebellion. So guys, follow me up. Ah, I'm just portraying what these people used to do and what they used to dress up in. <laughs> So uh, right now we are at the entrance of the cave. Yeah, it's quite the the, the, the temperature is quite low. So this is the entrance of where uh, the soldiers of Chief Witch used to get in. They they get inside the cave and settle in so that they they, they bar themselves from getting in contact with the British. Uh, rulers who wanted to like colonize Uganda and they wanted to, to take over northern region But guess what? This is amazing spot ladies and gentlemen Yeah, it's quite marvelous. But if you're getting inside here, there are a lot of bats uh, Yeah, that are inside here. So you take care of yourself So we're not going to go so far, but it stretches in up to almost like two kilometers inside like if you go like straight it's almost like Two kilometers so this is it So right now we have gone almost uh, a kilometer inside and uh, man, yeah, the place is really dark inside. So you have to carry along with your torch and uh, yeah, to check all these spots, you know, these guys wanted to hide like from these people. The Mogi Rebellion took place in 1911 by, it was spearheaded by one of the chiefs who was really really powerful in the land by the period of 1911 so this guy is called chief a witch of payira kingdom he was a son to chamuot parawino of the payira kingdom payira kingdom mind you is not it was not in this place it was not situated located here but it was located up to pade the present pade district 
and per day from here is almost 250 kilometers. You can imagine how these people walked from there and came to the hideout from the British. Mind you, there are many chiefdoms in Acholi by that time, but then all of them accepted the British rule just because these guys, you know, when they came, they gave these guys mirrors, uh, they gave them uh, lotion. So when these guys smeared on their body, it looked really fine. So they accepted the bill. They were like, these guys were heaven sent. But Chief of Witch was like, I don't want your mess. I don't want whatever you guys are bringing. I'm going to stand by my people and do whatever so that you guys don't take up our land. So this guy traveled way from Pade up to Lamogi. That's why the, the, the rebellion was called Lamogi Rebellion. And this hill is up, situated on Lamogi area. The people surrounding it, they are the Lamogi people. So ladies and gentlemen, this guy um, came up to this hill just because of its nature. The nature is really superb. You know, it has a lot of caves. Like if you can look behind me here, these green green spots, they have a lot of caves inside there. So when the British came in, they struggled with this guy, but this guy was like, no, 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 no. So the British had to take take take, take charge. They're like, no, we cannot make this person like mess up our, uh, our rule, you know. So they started the rebellion by then. So when this guy uh, uh, came up here, he used to have the spears uh, and the arrows, uh, bows and arrows. So he used to like fight with the bows and arrows. But the British had the armories, like the guns and the rest. So these guys struggled, 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 but the British could not like get a hold of them. But later on, like when the British uh, lost a lot of uh, armories and their people, I remember there was one person called Captain Tanner who also died in the, in the, during the rebellion and he was one of the British captains. So, like when they are losing a lot of people, these guys were like, no, why are these people disturbing us? So this place became the first spot in Uganda where they threw tear gas. So <laughs> they, they threw tear gas into the caves and these people had to just come out. And that's when they arrested our chief, chief a witch. Uh, and they took him to Nimule for other charges, you know, like for, for the crimes and, and the rest, for killing people and stuff like that. But guess what? This is one of the most memorable spot you guys have to show up to. Come and support nature, come and support tourism, come and hike. This is Uganda to the world and this is the pearl of Africa. Yeah.